Welcome to episode 5 of how to do character voices with the beginner player. Today we're going to do a Goliath. Now a Goliath is a big, giant, sort of burly, uh, picture an orc, but bigger and taller. Goliaths are supposed to be very, very strong and burly, and usually they're used for fighters or barbarians or, or maybe even a paladin, whatever your character is. We're going to go into how to voice act a good Goliath. So in case you haven't watched the other videos, there are four basic elements we can use to create personality. The first thing is how fast they talk. Does he talk slow or is he a bit more fast? The next element is pitch. Is he on a low pitch or is he a bit up here? The next element is breathiness. Is he constricted or is he breathy? The next element was loudness. Is your character loud? Or is he more on the soft side? For a Goliath, I usually picture a character that is slow, low pitch, and then adds a bit of... It doesn't add a whole lot of constriction, just a little bit. He's not kind of really a monster. Um, when I voice a Goliath, I usually try to do a character that's very abrupt, doesn't care a whole lot what you think. He's, uh, doesn't talk really too fast or too slow, a bit on the more on the normal side, but he talks on a low pitch, obviously. And there's a couple tips that I usually go through to try to make uh, more of a sound with a low pitch. And he's got just a little bit of constriction, not a whole lot, not like this, um, more like a, uh, kind of like around in this area, right about here. Yeah, and he's got a decent amount of constriction, but not a whole lot. Um, kind of around in this area, like here. And I uh, go about my day, and I really could give a damn what you think. Um, and then he is a bit on the louder side, so I push out with my chest a lot. Uh, I've been around here for the last, um, I don't know, about 20 um, odd years or so. And the last thing I remember was uh, a table hit me on the head last night. And I could really give a damn what you think about that. Look, I know how to hold my own in a fight. That table didn't fly out of nowhere. That fell from the ceiling. So if you think that I lost the fight, you're very wrong. You're very, very wrong. So look, I don't really know what to tell you. You just got, you know, something that you're not seeing clearly. So that's usually a bit how I do a Goliath. And there's a couple touches that you can kind of add to add a little bit of flavor. Um, if you watch the orc video, you'll be familiar with this already. But in case you're not, a little trick you can do is put your tongue to the roof of your mouth and it's going to change how you talk. I do that just a little bit. Not a whole lot. You can just kind of hear it a little bit from time to time. As she talks, he's not like full like this, you know. He's not going all the way. This, this voice right now has my tongue all the way up. But if I go just a little bit in between, I can add a bit more enunciation in how I voice my sentences. And that table kind of flew out of nowhere and hit me. You know what I'm saying. Uh, but I could really give a damn what you think. And then one more thing you can do as well um, is add even a little bit more constriction and just kind of like tilt your head down a little bit. Just make your back straight. Tilt your head down just so that your chin is getting as close to your neck as you can. So I'm going to do um, the voice with that and without that. And it's a small difference, but you'll get to hear it a little bit. Here's the voice normally. I am uh, Belthazar the cook, and I am talking right now without changing my head position, and I'm about to talk about that bar fight that kind of messed me up, you know what I'm saying? And uh, now I'm going to tilt my head down and talk, looking a little bit down to the ground, puff my chest out, and really push out with my chest. And you can kind of hear a little bit of a difference in how I'm talking as I can hit a little bit of a lower sound. And, um, yeah, I, I could really give a damn what you think, to be honest. I, look, I just run the tavern. I don't know a whole lot about what's going on out there. Um, there was this manacore that showed up and kind of messed everything up, so I, I punched it in the face and... Well, the rest is uh, history, as you know. So, um, yeah. Um, 
So take a moment and think about your Goliath and what you want your Goliath to sound like. Does your Goliath talk a bit faster and a bit more stern and abrupt um, about how he says things and what he has to say? Or is he a bit on the slow side of how he talks and what he has to say? Is he a bit higher pitch, maybe a little bit more up here somewhere? Or is he really, really as low as you can go? Now, there's also the thing to think about. Is he constricted and a bit more abrupt and threatening? Excuse me. Is he constricted and a bit more down here and really constricting your vocal cords like this, like he could give a damn what you think? Or is he a bit more breathy and maybe a bit more soft? You know, what kind of things does he have to say to you? Um, and then is he loud? Very loud. And really has always something to say. How loud is your character? How much are you gonna push out with your chest? Or is he a bit softer, a really bit more relaxed and thinking about what he has to say? So maybe like a big teddy bear, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like Grog from Critical Row. Mm, a bit more on the simple side. So take a moment and think to yourself what your Goliath sounds like and what kind of personality you want to bring out. Where, where's your Goliath's speed and how he talks? Is he fast and abrupt or is he slow? Where's your Goliath's pitch? Is he as low as you can possibly go or is he a step up from that? And then, where's your Goliath's breathiness? Is he really, really constricted, or does he let a lot of air push out in how he talks? And then there's the loudness. Is your Goliath really, really loud, or is he a bit more on the low side? And then finally, just remember to, uh, if you want to get as low as you can go, if you're going for a really low-pitched Goliath, go ahead and tilt your head down a bit so your chin is getting as close as you can to your neck. That really helps me get a much lower pitch at times. So I hope this brings some joy to your table. Stay awesome. Happy voice acting.